What's well, going on everybody? Come back. This is part two of the cameras I use for filming my YouTube video. Well, what's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? I told you I'd bring this series on cameras in the first series. I told you about my big DSLR, which I'm shooting on now. And my point and shoot, which I use for vlogging when I do a lot of vlogging. Until now. <laughs> now I have found another one I really like to vlog with. And I've done a couple videos with already. But uh, let's go through my last four cameras. Actually five cameras that I have. That um, I use for YouTubing. Now the first one, first GoPro I ever owned. I now own three GoPros. The first one I ever owned was the GoPro Hero Sessions 4. Um, this little sucker has been through a lot of mud, water, you name it. This thing has been through a lot. I'll leave a couple links to different videos that this video, this camera has shot over the last few years. Um, the only downside to the Hero Sessions is it's not a removable battery. You have to charge this one. But over the years, I have done a lot of filming with this thing on the one charge. Um, usually use it for out, you know, outside the vehicle type stuff. Or there for a long time, I used it in the dash, kind of like that with its mount facing forward. Well, go a few, a couple of years later, I picked up a GoPro Hero 5. Now, there's no... There's no secret behind the fives. You're all the way up to your GoPro Hero 7. Did not have the best audio in the world. And matter of fact, almost deplorable, but you made it work. And we made it work. Um, I bought the um, microphone adapter to make it work. And it worked pretty well most of the time, but it had some glitches from time to time. So then I have moved up in which you've probably already seen the video to the GoPro Hero 8. Now, I know I probably could have gone to a 10 or um, some of that nature, but I just decided to go with the uh, 8. Personal reasons, there's really no technical reasons behind it. It's just what I wanted to go with and what I went with. And because I was looking at kind of a budget. Now, I have added the media mod to it which gives you a different microphone front and rear or you can make it stereo. Um, I have added that to it. Of course, it changes your whole dynamics as far as plug-ups on the back. You can add an external microphone like a, um, a Boya or something of that nature like I've got on the camera now. Uh, you can also plug directly into the back of it. Now, that, let me say this. That does make this lot less waterproof because water can get into these holes and into the inside so if you want to keep the camera waterproof you'll have to take it back out of here and put the door back on it to seal it up okay so the last piece or last piece of camera equipment i have that i haven't been using much of until now is my drone my dji spark i know there are newer sparks or newer um, dji drones available but I really like this one. I like how compact it is. No, the legs don't fold up. But it is what you get. I do have a carrying case for it, which I can throw in a backpack. The reason why I didn't uh, fly this very much was because of I didn't have the remote for it. I use my phone a lot. And I will tell you, if you've used a remote for anything, you know how much easier it is than just using the phone and the joysticks on the phone itself all that so i will be using this much more um we'll probably get it out on a couple of the jeep adventures and some other camping trips that i'm going to do this next year and it'd be kind of cool to have some drone footage my has the workbench filled up <laughs> all right so this camera doesn't count this camera doesn't count but the rest of this is what i use for filming and what I'm going to be using for filming going from here on out. Right down to this thing. This is basically a raincoat for my DSLR. 
The end sticks out of the hood here a little bit. You'll see right there. And then you're able to put your arms on the inside and work your camera and see your camera from there. So I will be using this more. And this is basically, like I said, a raincoat for my DSLR that I can use in the future. Um, mounts. Oh my gosh, mounts. Um, everything from if you're swimming or um, paddling, whatever, and you want something that's good and quick for your GoPros. I love this little thing. Um, none of that. When we were in Florida, when I use it in Florida for vlogging style, I keep money and stuff inside that right there. So I always had a little bit of money on me. And uh, keys. If you want to keep a key in there for your vehicle, you could do it in that. So I really liked that thing when I found it. Um, there's the brand I got it on Amazon. And I'm... I'm pretty sure I've got links to all this stuff on on here. Um, another thing, I, you know, especially if you're camping at night and stuff, is a little light. And this little light, I actually used several times camping at night to light the scene so you can see me as I talk inside the tent and stuff. Just helps give it a little more accent light in the tent. Uh, the next thing is is. Um, Joby pods. I love Joby pods. They will end up looking like this after a while, but you can bend them, flex them in any way you want. Um, the, I mean, you know, you can do whatever you want to. Wrap this thing around a pole, whatever. Now, this is the, I think, 5K. So it'll hold this camera that I'm shooting on now. Um, down to a GoPro. You can put a GoPro on this right here. I use this one quite a bit together, this combination. Make sure I got y'all all the way out. Yeah, okay. I use this combination quite a bit when I'm vlogging and when I'm doing a quick weekender and I don't want a bunch of stuff with me. Um, then I carry this camera and this tripod. Now that I have the GoPro Hero 8 with the media mod on it, I've got the GoPro or the uh, Joby um, GoPro mount or um, tripod is what I'm trying to say. Good Lord. Um, I like this. I, the only problem with it, and I wish they would include a longer screw, but I get what they're doing here with that indention so you can screw the screw in there and tighten it up. But with my fat well, not so fat, but my numbness fingers, it's hard to get this thing really tight, but I keep a screwdriver on me at all times and my kits, Leatherman, whatever it takes, and I can tighten it down with that. Um, so when it comes to the DSLR, I have several mounts for it. Now it's sitting on a newer tripod right now and I'll click in a picture. I think I've got a picture of it. Of this tripod that I use here and I have a cheapy tripod that I keep in the truck so I can use it when need be but I also have this mount that I've filmed with several times where the camera mounts here I can put the microphone here or here and I can take the light and put the light on top of here so if I'm doing anything at night I can I've got this same goes with this mount. This mount actually mounts into the hot shoe. And once it's mounted in the hot shoe, I can slide the mic in here and here and here. Um, I can take the light. I can screw it in many different ways. As you'll see, they have threads right there. So you can screw something on the side of it. I do have a GoPro mount. And I have seen people use GoPros with their DSLR. Not sure 100% why but I have seen it happen uh, where they had a GoPro where they're filming themselves with the GoPro and using the camera to film other things so that's that's another thing they can do you can do with it uh, but this little mount has threaded holes all over it so you can do all kinds of really neat stuff with it um, pouches for instance like this pouch here from Hemlock Mountain Outdoors 
I use this to stow batteries and stuff in. I will put them in a waterproof case, keep the batteries dry. And then I put them in this bag. And I know this bag is my camera bag. This is, I keep all my batteries and that kind of stuff in this. Um, the next thing I wanted to go over is of course buying batteries. I don't always buy the name brand battery. Canon thinks the world of their batteries. Uh, one Canon battery for this DSLR is like 80 bucks. But what's funny is you can get the uh, GoPro batteries for like $24 a piece. So it doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. Um, back to the mounts, GoPro mounts. I have tons of them. I have a bag full of GoPro mounts. And you're going to see some GoPros mounted in places this year on the Jeep especially or in the truck that I haven't done before. So you're going to see a lot of new stuff done when it comes to videoing. Um, the GoPro Hero 5 and the Sessions are fixed to become my, well, I guess you could call, call them their sacrifice GoPros now. But uh, the only other thing I will recommend is a selfie stick of this kind, a good strong selfie stick. And what I'll do to it a lot of times is mount a GoPro mount on it. You can stick it out the window or window of the Jeep or car, truck, whatever you're filming and get some good b-roll that way i've done a lot of that with these mounts in this um, particular selfie stick i have used this quite a bit as far as video hikes and stuff i'll take this stick with me a lot of times hiking um, depends if i want to do other things then i'll break out one of these mounts and set it down on the ground do walk bys that kind of stuff there's all kinds of little tips and tricks you can do if you want to know more if you want to see more i know this video has probably gotten way longer than it needed to be let me know in the comments down below if you have a question on how something's used and i will make a video of it and we'll talk about it in depth so that's it for this one i'm sorry it's probably a little longer than it needed to be but i wanted you to see all this stuff lined up in what i use for youtube making you do not have to spend the money i have spent to make youtube videos but if you want to <laughs> that's up to you i'm not going to tell you that's what you got to do one last thing i will say i recommend a good sd card holder that's what this is i have extra sd cards sitting here ready to roll if i need them and it holds the micros and the big ones or in the big ones on the same spot so i actually have one two three four things that use the micro sd cards so i need them <laughs> all right guys that's it for this one like i said if you want to see something else down below leave me a message and i will do it shoot the video on it and that's it for this one I appreciate you watching. Be prepared. See you on the next one.